Hi everyone, this is Jennifer again. Um, I'm coming to you here in my greenhouse because I'm getting ready to plant my peppers in their, in the greenhouse in their final home. Um, I'm planting them in the most unlikely container you can imagine. Um, if you, you go Walmart, if you're in the States, they have blue reusable bags they sell for 50 cents. Um, and that is what I'm planting my um, peppers in. Um, I've used these for a, for a couple of years now. Um, I think this might be their third year. I'm not sure. Might just be their second, but they're still holding up pretty good. I got a hole in one, so it's uh, not filled up as full. But other than that, it seems to be doing pretty good and holding up pretty good. Um, and I'm planting two types of peppers in here. I'm planting these, my Great Stuff Hybrid. Um, it's a hybrid by Gurney's. You, you'll only find it at, not Gurney's, Burpees. You'll only find it, find it sold by Burpees. And I got the seeds at Walmart. So I'm planting that. And I'm planting a jalapeno. I got like four of these plants. Two more are going outside. The others are going in the greenhouse. Um... And we'll just see which ones do better. Um, sorry, I'm picking this leaf off because it has some... Um, it just doesn't look very good. So if you see a leaf that doesn't look good and you're not sure about it, just pick it off and get rid of it um, right away. And I'm leaning on a bag of potting. These are filled up with last year's a mix of half last year's potting soil or whatever dirt was in these pots. And half new potting soil. So... And also on these, these are my two experiment plants. This is, I chopped the top off to see if I could get it to bush out like they suggest. So I did two like that and two not, see how which one does better. Um, they seem to like the greenhouse pretty well, so I'm not too worried about it. And let me, let me pull the tags out because they're a pain in the butt to get back in. Um, I want to show you the root system on this. This is how you want your roots nice and not really root bound or anything this is like perfect for transplanting and it goes back in the pot just like that and even this one's really good how it looks this is from I got this at a local greenhouse I really like going to sorry about the funny angle you're saying not a pot of dirt that's going to have a tomato plant and yes I'm going to do a video on that I just have to figure out the angle um, but yeah, I got it at a local greenhouse. Uh, it's just a locally family owned one. Um, nothing major. They start their own seeds. Seriously, they start their own seeds. They have them laid out so you can actually see that they have a bunch of seeds started. And you can get like a ton of different variety of tomatoes and peppers there. I'm going to be going back and gave me some um, pepper plants for my... Um, for the Richwood Fair, I'm going to put them in pots in here when I get around to it uh, and just grow them on in here because they seem to do really well. So, back to planting this, which is what you guys showed up for. So, I'm going to move him out of the way because i got to put some stuff in here to get this ready. And I kind of do a combination gardening. I do organic plus uh, synthetic fertilizers. And I use organic plus the mitt leader method which anyone who's diehard mitt leader I'm sorry but this works for me um, you do what works so I'm going to be doing that and this is their mitt leader pre-plant it's a mixture of lime borax and epsom salts and if I can get it mixed up good I'm just going to use a tablespoon sprinkle it right on here you don't even really need to work it into your dirt and I'll be rummaging around in it enough to do so. And then I'm going to add a tablespoon of their weekly feed on here also. So, just like that. Actually, I'm supposed to, hold on a minute. I need two tablespoons of this. I forgot. Because a tablespoon equals half an ounce and 
So you need two tables, you need an ounce of the pre-plant fertilizer in here and half ounce of the regular fertilizer, the weekly feed, which I find ironic is the same set is the same um, amount of fertilizer you're supposed to give for the weekly feed as it is for my garden tone per square foot. Well, they say per linear foot, but it works with square foot too. I've done, I've grown it like that before. So let me grab a tablespoon of this, which is just a packet of their nutrient supplement, uh, some 121212 or 131313, depending on where, which state I got it in. I can, I live in Ohio. I can only get 121212. Uh, my mom in Kentucky can get 13, 13, 13. So just depends on what state you live in. It also has Epsom salt in it. And something else that I can't remember right now. Um, just go look it up. You can usually find the recipe for it online. But yeah, I'm just going to sprinkle it on right here. And that's the fertilizer it gets. And then I'm going to move this dirt aside so I can get a nice hole. And then. And I don't worry about covering up my pepper stem too much because I've seen them fall over and sprout roots. So that's how I plant that. Let me get this one planted real quick for you. Yeah, I've had him fall over and start sprouting roots, so I'm not too worried about him. He's just fine. And these might get supplemented with some of my um, hydroponic fertilizer. Ooh, there's where my other tablespoon went to. Sorry, I haven't used this bucket since last year, really, except for dumping some more fertilizer in it. See, it kind of got buried. Oh, that really needs cleaned off. Yuck. I have this thing where I can go out and garden. I don't mind getting my hands dirty, but anything else on my hands besides dirt, I just have to go wash my hands. But anyway, so that's all in there. I'm going to just pop him in there. And as to growing in a greenhouse, uh, water, water, water. And because sometimes in the summer I have the cement concrete. Hold on, I can show you what I have. I have these are used for mixing up concrete. And we got them at Lowe's. And I will fill this up to almost here with water in the summer. And if I have like tomatoes or um cucumbers this will be dry the next day so you just gotta make sure you stay on top of the watering any container plants you water them if sometimes during the summer I have to water twice a day with my smaller pots but just keep them watered and your plants will grow and stay happy um, I went on vacation last year and I didn't water I took a week and by the time I got back everything had gone crazy I needed to water and everything else and it was not fun so that's how I plant my pepper plants I will be doing a video on my tomatoes um, I hope you enjoyed this I hope this helps you if you have a greenhouse and you want to try peppers in the greenhouse they love the greenhouse I've grown them in here before they just love the heat in here and right now it's about 20 degrees hotter than it is outside um, outside after a few minutes I will need a sweatshirt because it's like it's like 50 outside and it's like 70 in here so these little guys love it in here um, I was going to do all my peppers in here but that's not happening so <laughs> um, I'm going to plant some outside too so thank you for joining if you like this video please like and subscribe and I will talk to you later